two ingredients that are safe and effective in your sunscreen. Here they are, zinc and titanium dioxide. To help you survive the summer, I talked to a local dermatologist about what she ultimately recommends to protect your skin. Sun, sand, and surf. It's why we love Southwest Florida. But dermatologist Anais Badia wants you to remember. One in five people will develop skin cancer. That should be enough for you to care every time you step outside. So when you're outside, you can get a sunburn in as quickly as 15 minutes. The FDA now says the only true sunblockers are zinc and titanium dioxide, ingredients often found in sprays and lotions but diluted with other chemicals. That's why Dr. Badia recommends this, a mineral-based sunscreen powder. Mineral-based is important because it's something that's not absorbed directly into the skin. To really understand the difference between mineral and non-mineral-based sunscreens, we went into the lab at Florida Skin Center to show you. The water is going to act like our skin, and we're going to go ahead and put a non-mineral-based powder into it. And you can already see that the powder is already settling at the bottom. And as I mix it, the water gets really muddy and murky. So that is what's happening when we're putting non-mineral powders onto our skin. It's just being absorbed like that. Then we tried the mineral powder. And we'll pour it in there. We mixed it up the same way and... Nothing is absorbing into that water. The results speak for themselves. And to find powder sunscreens, you have to typically go online or buy them through your dermatologist. It is important to note the FDA does not have recommendations on powders yet because they are currently being studied. And one other thing with the powder, you actually uh, don't have to let it sit. You can just go ahead and put it on and then go right into the water because it sits right there. Oh. Unlike other sunscreens where you do need to wait about 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, and dealing with the kids to get them to sit and not going in the exactly. water. So that's pretty good. Here are some other things to keep in mind with sunscreen. Pick broad spectrum with an SPF of at least 30. Then here's the big reminder, reapply every two hours. And this is another interesting tip that we just learned. Don't leave your sunscreen in your car or directly in sunlight because that actually breaks down the formula, making that sunscreen less effective. How much